Hey guys, it's Hogan here, and in this video, I will show you how you can point your GoDaddy domain name to your SiteGround hosting. So if you've recently bought your domain name from GoDaddy, but you've bought your hosting from SiteGround, then I'm gonna show you how you can link it and connect it together so you can start creating your website in just a few minutes. So this is actually super easy, so let's get started right away. Okay, so basically the first thing you'll need to do is log into your SiteGround dashboard area. So if you don't have web hosting with SiteGround yet, then there's a discount affiliate link down below. Then you'll need to get web hosting, right? Once you've gotten web hosting, then you'll be taken to this page here. So what you'll need to do is you need to navigate to websites. And from here, you'll need to navigate to new website. And here you need to select existing domain. So you've purchased your domain from GoDaddy, right? Click on select. And here you need to enter your domain name. So what I'm gonna do is log into my GoDaddy account. I'm just gonna click on sign in. And from here, I'm gonna scroll down to the domain name that I recently purchased. Click on show more. So I've got quite a few domains. Um, this one over here, I'm just gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it in just like that, right? So your domain name.com and click on continue. So as you can see here, it says the domain name you wish is not registered to your SiteGround account. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on continue. And from here, we're gonna click on skip and create empty site. And then click on finish. Now what we need to do is copy over the DNS settings. So copy that and come back to the products here. And then we need to navigate to the DNS for our website, right? So sometimes the dashboard will actually change so what you'll need to do is you'll need to find where you can actually click on manage DNS. So we need to be able to change the name servers on GoDaddy. All right, so from here, we're gonna scroll down to name servers and this is what we need to change. So click on change. And then what we need to do is click on enter my own name servers. And I'm gonna paste in this name server from SiteGround. So just copy the bottom one and paste that over. So that's basically gonna connect our domain name with the SiteGround hosting. And then from here, just click on save. Okay, so once that is saved, we can go back to our SiteGround account and here we can click on manage site or you can go to websites. Okay, so this is what you should see. So if you don't see it, refresh the page. And from here, we can click on site tools. And if you wanna install WordPress, you can click on WordPress here, click on install and manage and we're gonna select WordPress. And from here, I'm going to deselect the WordPress starter. And here we need to put in a username and password, okay, to log into our new WordPress installation. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on install. Okay, so sometimes that might take a little while. Sometimes it might take 10, 15 minutes for that actually to be installed. So in this case, it was installed fairly quickly. Right, so what we can do is click over here, right, to log in to our dashboard area, and hopefully that's going to log us in, right? So sometimes it does take a little longer, so you have to be patient, um, wait like 15 minutes, and then come back, and then it should work, right? So what I'm gonna show you now, which is really, really important, is you wanna make sure your website's secure over here. So click back onto the site tools, and then go to security, SSL manager, so here we wanna install an SSL certificate and the first one is free. So we're gonna click on get. Okay, so I think that might've automatically installed. Now, if it didn't automatically do it, then you wanna select let's encrypt and get, right? So now if you refresh the page, then you'll say it's active. Then you can go back to your WordPress dashboard and you can go to plugins and then you click on add new. And then here you wanna search for really simple SSL and then click on enter, click on install now for really simple SSL. And then what we're gonna do is click on activate. All right, and then click on go ahead and activate SSL. Okay, so that's gonna log you out of your WordPress. Now, if you wanna log back in without going back to your SiteGround account and heading over to WordPress and clicking on this, then what you need to do is you'll need to type in your domain url.com and then just delete this for now, okay? And type in wp-admin. So this is your login area for your WordPress dashboard. 
So what I suggest is just bookmarking the page. So whenever you want to log in, just click on your bookmark. So I'm going to log in right now. Okay, so now we're back in our dashboard area. So if we hover over here and click on visit website, so this is what your website or your blog will look like, right? So it looks nothing like a website yet. So what you can do now is start building out your website. So I do have a few tutorials on my channel about how to create a website, how to create an e-commerce store, and I'm gonna make one which is showing you how to create a blog as well, which I'll link down below in the description. Okay, I also have a video where I'll show you how to create a domain specific email. So for example, your name at yourdomain.com and I'll show you how to connect that to your Gmail account so you can basically manage it from your Gmail inbox and also send email from your Gmail as well, All right? So if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe and see you guys in the next video.